don't know, some glue, maybe some silicone or something in order to, to hold it there. I don't know if even worth it. Probably for what, to prevent the water get in? Yeah, I don't know. So it's not even sealed right yeah. now. Looks nice, for sure. It's just a it's problem. It's just gonna come out. Some silicone and, yep, and then later on put, put it in. So if you want to take it off, it's gonna be easier to just Great. Thank you. put it out. something mm -hmm. so it's just kind of part of the new car blues I guess if you want to call it that Absolutely. it's not a big deal no this one was a little more than others no okay. this is an easy one Shit. Okay, good. got a per for so who's running the dyno who's going with I am going to be assisting with running the dyno. Felipe is going to be driving, and you're going to get to do your thing. Wood down. Put the wood. Yeah. Um. It's the worldwide. You guys already like verified everything else on the car, like all your other solenoids and whatnot. Yeah. Like, yes, I did lock up. So yeah, we can do that. Okay. Yeah, we can do that with Aaron, and we'll do the time-based test just so Felipe knows it's gonna ship. We can do it also too. So we can ship it. We can just look at the time-based function. Make sure that it doesn't. We can do that now. You want? Aaron. Trans brakes already unhooked. I see a wire out over there. Uh, probably not. Got a weather pack tool. Cause I'm not gonna be there on the because the lock up's in it. Works. Got a weather pack tool? Yeah. Okay. So this first pull, we'll do our normal like low gear. You want it all the way to the all the way to the change, or like a couple seconds? Uh, nah, do, do your normal couple seconds. Okay. That's what you do over here anyway, too. Right? We usually do like two-step test, which you guys already did, and then we do like basically till he feels the converter, grab it, and then let it out, like just let out, which is like maybe a second, second and a half, and then we'll do to the gear change, and then we do, you know, we'll, 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 okay. We'll find out here after the pull. We also usually start with a lot more random. You guys, yeah, y'all do. <laughs> It down if this cable gets attached on there, which when I first put it on, it oh, see, oh, oh, oh. look at it. Let that go of it. If it sits like that, that's how it was sitting. I don't know because it was off, it was off. So you need to get that back up. But if he pulls it, I bet it would come off. So go ahead, be your zip tie.
that was to pretty much to the two three gear. You shifted the high. You felt the lock up number one. Shifted two three and then flipped. Okay. And in my opinion, that's for the motor still conservative. That's pretty good power. Okay. For what we're doing. The motor safe. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make adjustments from this right here. Okay. Load it back into the car to where it's got a good base. Good base. Good base. Right here. Okay. And like you were saying, if I wanted to change, uh, I go yeah. to the outboard. Uh, no, you, you gotta pull the shit out of it. Yeah, you don't have to buy a whole motor. You can just just parts. Right. So, I'm happy with it. You happy with it? Yeah, I, I think. think. Yep. No problem, man.